out of war, shout out of war. First and foremost, want to give all praise, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, for Kakadash, double honors to the apostles, elders, and prophets, and other respect to the brothers, preaching and teaching the truth all over the globe, worldwide. And to the few Aqua, I listen and learn to you, I give a sincere shout out on. All the Hoya, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, for Kakadash, for Rakadash, to all the sincere listeners out there. And just want to go into a lesson, you know. And, um, and, and while uh, I watched the brother, uh, you know, Adam Manatazar, uh, uh, GMS in South Carolina, you know, he's going to the lesson, uh, you know, he's going to talk about uh, good books and, and um, you know, just, you know, thinking about it, man, that, you know, and the thing about how uh, solid how people really are when it comes down to the most high. And I'm, and I'm talking about the two thirds, of course. And, and the reason why you know I'm thinking about this because it's, it's the level of disrespect that our people show towards the Most High, you know. And the scripture goes in to say that the Most High is not even written, not even in their thoughts, man. And, and it shows you that our, our people are, you know, the Most High not in our people's thoughts, you know. They they say that a uh, false god that uh, you know Esau Edom has put before them, you know. They 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 say that false you know false Messiah, which they call Jesus Christ, you know the blonde hair, blue eyed person, you know that's who God who they really 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 serve. You know they don't serve the Most High, that, you know you have by Shem Al Shah because you know just watching you know listen to what you know the people were saying. Uh, he was uh, basically saying that you know, uh, you know, if the Most High, I'm going to eat what I'm going to eat what I want to eat, and I'm going to base, I'm going to do what I want to do. Pretty much, you know, all these loads of damn poor even Leviticus chapter 11 goes into uh, the dietary law of what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat, and one thing that we shouldn't eat be eating is swine, man, because swine is considered unclean, you know. You know, they come from where they have by Shema Al Shah, this wine is unclean. But this, but this, you know, this damn demon, man, he, he basically said that, uh, you know, I'm going to, you know, you know, F the most high, I'm just going to eat what I want to eat. And, and I'm going to my base, I'm just going to do what I want to do. He, he said before me, so uh, I'm going to eat it in a way in the most high contradict to himself. You know what? The most high never contradict to himself. He never contradict himself in his word, man. His word was made it very clear in the big kid chapter eleven what you can eat and what you can't and what you can't eat. It's just like your damn wicked ass two thirds, man. Y'all y'all just proud as hell. And this guy had a proud spirit on him. In the book of Proverbs it said, Pride before go before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. I believe that's Proverbs sixteen or eighteen. Your brother could correct me on that. You know, it said pride pride goes before uh, pride go before destruction and the hardest spirit before fall and it shows you right there man that uh that, that this dude was full of pride man you know this dude uh he need pride because you know he you know he has you no know, money you know he has a little status or what have not and you know and, and when, when uh, people have you know uh money and status you know majority of them i don't say all Majority of them uh, forget Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They forget the Most High. They they forsake the Most High because they uh, they trust in their riches. They trust in their money. You know they trust in uh in what Esau Edom could do for them. And but at the end of the but at the end of the day, man, is at the end of the day the Most High is gonna take down his kingdom. And, and this guy, you know, he stuck his middle finger up, you know, you know to, up to the Most High. Because, because he's proud as hell, man. And that's a lot, that's, that's a system a lot of these two third J's, man. They proud as hell because when you start bringing out the scriptures, and you start showing them, of course, the scriptures, what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to live, and how you're supposed to conduct yourself according to the word of Yah by Shem Al A lot of our people get proud as hell, man. You know, they get they get proud as hell, and, and they'll come and they'll come tell you, oh, you know, only God can judge me. You know, having two parts spirit on them. And, and, and you know, scripture tells you clearly when we when we judge, we're supposed to judge righteous judgment. Meaning that we 
we're gonna judge some. We better not be. We, we, we ourselves better not be doing it. You know, because scripture also goes on to say that you know he that uh 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 break the uh, break these commandments and teach men, so he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But he that do it, teach and do them, so he shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Our people, they don't want to adhere to the law of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, man. You know, they want they they love to hold on to plantation Christianity. We call plantation Christianity allow you to do what you want to do. You can have any lifestyle you want to have, and and what and what they do, and what they do, they'll say, oh, you know, the law is done away with. It. But then, but then they'll turn around and say, oh, you know, um, you're a sinner saved by grace. Okay, which one is it? You you a sinner? I, I, uh, our law done away with, and, and that's that spirit that that uh, the Christian in, and that's his, and, and, you know, and Luke Lucy being a damn demon that he is, you know, he, he probably like, well, I ain't say probably, uh, you know, everybody know who God is. God is uh, in the left hand side, you know, he, you know, he he all about money and status, you know, he don't care about the most high, just like the rest of you two thirds, man, y'all don't care about the will. I don't care about the command, lost that command for you how about shit, man, how shot. You want to do what you want to do. But then, but then when something happened to you, then you want to get mad at the most high for, for you know, for, for things happening to you. Nah, because, nah, because guess what? That is your life, and you chose to be, you chose to be wicked, man. You see? You, you, cho you chose to be wicked, you know? Because the scripture goes on to say that, you know, you know, brother paraphrasing, you know, uh, our people quit to do evil, but to do good, they don't know, they know not how. And, you know, now they don't know not how, but you got some people that, that been told law, statute commandment, they don't want to do good, they don't care. You know, cause they in their mind, they, they believe that, you know, that they can live any type of way and they can do what they want to do and they ain't gonna suffer no consequences and repercussions. They'll quit say, oh, you know, uh, most, you know, most high loves everybody. You know, God loves everybody. So we can live how we want to live. We can do whatever we want to do, and we ain't gotta face no consequences or repercussions. We can uh, we can uh, live our life. We can live our best life, and we ain't got to worry about going through anything. But you know, that's the that's the, that's even further from the truth, man. Cause that shows you that this society, you know, they don't they don't care about the most high. Period. Because if they care about the most high, they won't be doing the stuff that they're doing. You see? And, and because in their mind, they believe that uh, the most high is all love. You know, and they, in that same way, probably Lil Boosie, too. You know, he, he, he probably, oh, you know, I love God, I love God, but you just flipped him off, man. You just flipped off the most high, but then you're talking about, you're talking about so you love God, yeah, yeah, you love God, your God is your money. Yeah, that's who you love. But you don't respect the most high. Anytime you can anytime you can turn around and say, you know, I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat, you know, he said before me, so I'm gonna just eat it. But let me say this, and, and this man made all this money, he, he got millions upon millions of dollars. And he was gonna eat you know, he go eat anything else with with the millions of dollars that he so called made. And, but he chose to wanna eat pork and, and swine and shrimp and lobster and gumbo and all this stuff that the Bible uh, said that it's unclean, that we don't supposed to eat. But yet, he turns around, he, uh, he, uh, he uh, eats it anyway, said that, you know what, I won't eat what I want to eat. It don't matter, I'm just going to eat it anyway. So I don't care what the most high guy said, I'm just going to eat what I want to eat. And that's the, that's the mindset of you two-thirds, man. You two-thirds had that same mindset that, well, you can't judge me. Uh, only God can judge me. You can't judge me. I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. Ain't no big sin, ain't sin, ain't, ain't no one sin greater than the other sin. So a lot of you say that nonsense because you wanna justify, you know, your wicked lifestyle, man. And the most high ain't dealing with you. You know, he's not dealing with you on no level, man. Because when when you basically uh when when you basically just just trying to justify your your wickedness 
then, then you put a bigger target on yourself, man, because you basically saying that, well, I, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway, so, so it ain't nothing you can say I do that's going to stop me from doing what I want to do. If I want to, uh, if I want to eat this pork, guess what? I'm going to eat this pork. If I want to eat this smoked sausage, I'm going to eat this smoked sausage. If I want to eat these pork chops, I'm just going to do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about what you guys say. I don't care about what the Bible guys say, what the scriptures guys say. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And that's the mindset of you two-thirds, man. Y'all playing, y'all love the most high. But guess what? Y'all don't love the most high. Because in vain, you worship him, man. And how you worship in vain? Because you call on some other God, man. You call on, you call on Jesus. And that's not even his real name. His real name, the say real name is Yahweh Shah. But y'all ain't gonna say it to Yahweh Shah because then what that name is terrible among, among, uh, among the other nations, especially you two thirds, man. That, that name is terrible among you. Because, because you made mockery of the, of the Most High. You made mockery of Yahweh Shah. Why? Because, guess what? The Most High is not in your thoughts, man. You know, what's in your thoughts is wickedness, man. It's, it's, it's the, it's the, uh, it's the, uh, the government of this society, man. How this society, uh, runs. That, that's what's in y'all thoughts. Y'all don't have, you all don't have a fear of y'all about Shimmy Al Shah. Because if you had a fear of y'all about Shimmy Al Shah, you won't be doing what you want to do. And, and, you know, you'll, you'll respect the law of statute command, which, uh, which you all don't do anyway. Why? Because, because according to uh, wacky tech Christianity, the laws are done away with. You know, you, the law of statute commandments are done away with. And, and, and that shows you how uh, sodish our people is. It, you know, in the scripture it said, my people are sodish children. And if you look up that word sodish, the word sodish means stupid, man. And our people are very, very stupid when it comes down to the most high. And I'm talking about the two thirds, of course, because you know what? They had no knowledge of the most high, man. Because they had knowledge of the most high, they wouldn't be doing the stuff that they doing. But then they'll turn around and they want to they'll they'll try to find figure out some way to justify, you know, their wickedness, man. They they'll figure they they want to figure out some way, somehow to justify what they doing. And, and they'll they'll question where well, everybody else is doing it. You know, everybody else is celebrating the holidays. Why can't we? Everybody else celebrating Christmas. Why can't we? You know, everybody else celebrating birthdays. Why can't we? You know, everybody else celebrating Valentine's Day and Halloween, all these other weekend holidays. Why can't we? Because the most high told us not to follow the ways of the heathen. And you got you got this guy like Lil Boosie, man. He followed the ways of the heathen. You know, he don't care about the law that you commandments of the most high. You don't care about the most high anyway. You know, because he because he flipped off the most high. And basically he's saying F the most high. I'm gonna I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat. But it's gonna be a judgment for him, man. You know, and you know, it may be a slim chance he may repent, but we already know that more likely he's not gonna repent. Because guess what? You know, he, he, he got his constellation on his side. You know, he made his choice. You know, he's all about that money. You know, he doesn't care about the most high. Because the scripture said that the love of money is, is the root of all evil. And, and this guy loves money. That's the only thing he talks about is money. You know? You know, the love of money is the root of all evil. You, you see? Because this guy don't care about the most high. He got his constellation. He got his money. He got his uh, uh, riches on his side. So, uh, him caring about the most high, he's not going to, he don't care about the most high. Because, because you can tell, and you see the brother, you, you can tell that, you can tell uh, Boosie was uh, Boosie proud as hell, man. Because in the book of Job, it goes into say, you know, you know, after Job, after uh, his wife uh, told Job, you know, why you might well cuss your how out and die. And Job said, are you, are you, you talk as a foolish one? He said, no, do we not receive good and evil at the hand of the most high and give things? Or uh, he said, wait, he said, naked. Naked I came in the world, world and naked shall I return. Blessed be named Yah Barshim Al Shah. You know, we, we didn't take nothing in the world. We sure in the hell ain't gonna take nothing out of this world, man. You have some, you have our, this is how stupid our people is. Our people will, will, will uh, when they die, they'll basically say, oh, you know what, just uh, just uh, bury me with my money, man. You know, I won't, I won't be buried in, a, in, in my money with all my rats now. 
they stupid as hell because God, get what you can't take the damn money with you, man, when you die. Cause all this stuff on this side, you can't take nothing with you, man. The only thing that's gonna that's gonna go is gonna be your spirit, man. You know, your spirit, your soul, and spirit gonna go back up to the Most High. You see, your, this flesh is gonna stay, be in the ground, and all this, all the material stuff is gonna be burned up anyway. Because y'all about to see my side gonna burn all this up with thermonuclear missiles. And, and all this money that that boosts up here flashing all this stuff that that that's that fiat money man that that money don't mean shit in this society man and what i mean by that that this money is gonna be soon it's gonna it's soon it's gonna it's gonna gonna work it ain't gonna work nothing but the toilet paper that you wipe your ass with because this money ain't bad to buy no real currency man you know it's paper money fiat it, it has no real backing you know in the, in the elite bank you know this and a lot of people know that this money ain't bad by anything. See? And they got flash and all this money and, and all this stuff. He got these rappers though, they flash all this fiat money. And the fiat money don't even work the damn. You see? But they gonna find out the hard way, man, because it wasn't they gonna you know, a lot of these uh two thirds man, especially these these uh these uh you know, Jake that they, they're celebrities, man. They, a lot of them gonna take the damn chip because they ain't gonna have no faith in y'all about shit man out shot. A lot of them gonna take the chip because they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna, they white Jesus ain't gonna come back to save them. So a lot of them gonna give up, they gonna come atheists. You know, I'm talking about our people now. And, and two thirds of our people, they gonna take the damn chip. You see, they gonna, they gonna take the chip because, because you know what, they white Jesus they ain't gonna come back to save them out of their time of calamity. And, you know, in, in scripture, I believe uh, Hebrews 10 and 31 goes into it. You know, it's, it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power, man. It's going to be a fearful thing for you. For you two thirds, Jake, man. Because you're going to fall in the hands of, of the living power. You know, the Most High is going to do something terrible to y'all, man. You know, he's going to do something very terrible to y'all. And, 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 and it's going to be an evil that you that uh, ain't nobody gonna be able to live y'all up because a lot of you are proud as hell, man. That you 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 had no you had no fear y'all about Shimmy Alshai. You had no fear of you know what he can do and what his power is. He's a he's a terrible and dreadful power, man. And and, and you two thirds y'all gonna be destroyed on this side. It's in prophesy of Zechariah chapter thirteen verse eight. You know, it said that two parts of our people gonna be cut off and die, and Boosie is a part of that two thirds, man. You know, he, you know, he's a part of that two thirds because because he flipped out the Most High, and he he showed the Most High that he he, he, he ever showed who side he on. So that what you know, it may be a small chance that re, that he'll repent, but at the same time, we already know that that he more he more like he's not gonna do that because he's full of pride, man. Full of pride, and, and, and he has that, you know, he has that spirit on. Well, uh, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eat what I want to eat. I'm just gonna do what I want to do. So, and most I can't tell me what to do. If if it's if it's uh, if I want to eat it, get what I'm gonna eat it. And get what you're gonna be hearing about this dude, man. You're gonna be hearing about a lot of things that's gonna happen to him. You're gonna probably hear hear that he's gonna be broke. Uh, you're gonna hear the fact of the matter that uh. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be read by his obituary or, you know, some gang member came by and killed him or something to that effect. We don't know because the most high, most high got baby ways to handle his business. You see? The most high got plenty of ways to, 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 uh, to make make you bow down. Because, you know what? He, he, can, he can take out your family members. Or uh, he could, uh, uh, you know, he can, he can put a, a incurable disease in your body and make you suffer and just make you live through and, and do that stuff. You know, live through that incurable disease. Because because uh you know you cur you uh basically flipped off the most high. You see most high guy uh he's a terrible power man and, and two thirds don't understand that. You know, two thirds like boots don't understand how how, how uh terrible our power is man. You know, our power, you know for the scripture, you know, he he uh he created the evil and he created the good. He created light and he formed the darkness. You know, he killed and he made alive. 
you know, your how it does all these things. And, and for you to sit back and, and, and you flip, and you just flipped off the most high, you know, like like you, you bad, you, you strong and bad than him. Man, the most high can take you out in an instant, man. And, that, and that's the reason why you, that's the reason why you two thirds, man. Y'all gonna win this the wrath of y'all by Shimmy Al-Shaw. Because, because y'all two thirds, y'all ain't got no mind to repent, man. You ain't got no mind to turn back the law of statute of commandments. You ain't got no mind to do a, a Revelation chapter 18, verse 4, when it says, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partake of, of her sins, and that ye receive none of her plagues. And you know, a lot of you two thirds don't have the mindset to come out of Babylon the great, man. Y'all don't want to come out of her ways and her philosophies. The same philosophies that don't, they got you in, in this position in the first place. And, and a lot of you still gonna, gonna be in Babylon the great. A lot of you still gonna follow after the ways of, the, of this harlot, man. You know, the, the, this society don't care about y'all, man. And, and the show in the head don't care about little Boosie, but get what? You know, he's a pawn of the elites anyway, man. You know, he, he, he used by the elites to bring on, their conf bring on confusion and, and drag out people more and more, you know, further away from y'all by streaming out shot. You know, that was basically what he's starting to do. But guess what? At the end of the damn day, man, he's going he gonna to get heels on his side, man. And the scripture goes on and say they, you know what I'm saying, they, they reject the most high. But guess what? They're going to know it through death by pain. See if if he ain't if most I gonna most I gonna take you out in in, in in the worst way possible, man. You see, he can send he can send his uh he can send uh Satan he can send Satan can send his, uh one is a demon over there to take you out in the worst way, man. You see, most I can do that. And and, and, and you know I could not sit back and just you know flip off the most high. You know I just couldn't do it, man. I, I don't flip off the most high. But guess what? You know, so the scripture said that we shouldn't fear what men can do. We need to fear what Yahweh can do, man. Because Yahweh can do, you know, some terrible things. And like I said before, you know, you're going to flick, uh, you flick a disease on you that's incurable. And it'll allow you to live just to suffer. And that's bad, and that's bad all within itself, man. But, but you got people like Lil Boots and you got these wicked. Our wicked two thirds, man. Our people, man. They they don't care about the Most High. You said, like I said, they don't care about the Most High. The Most High not even in their thoughts, man. That's the reason why a lot of them go to these church because they don't want to hear the truth. They want to want to hear what they want to hear. They want the they they uh they uh they, uh, they uh, ears to be took man. Because Scripture goes into said they gonna heap up to themselves their own teachers have itching ears. You know, they're going to turn their truth, their ears from the truth down to faith, faith, lies, and deception. You see, that, that's what they're going to turn their ears up to. Because a lot of times, man, they, they, they ain't going to want to hear the truth, man. Especially when you got the brother down the highway, the highway teaching and showing them in the scriptures. And, 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 uh, and you, got, you got brothers showing them in the scriptures that, uh, that they need to repent. And you got a lot of them, they just wave it off, man. Or they'll just, they'll go in an argument trying to justify, you know, their wickedness. But the Most High is not going to, Most High is not going to hear that, man. You know, he's not going to hear that. He, he's either you going to uh, repent or, or you going to, are you going to, uh, you going to suffer. And, and a lot of our people, they choose, they rather choose to suffer because they, 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 they proud, man. They don't want to repent like they, like, like uh, these cats out, you know, and one of these counts in Houston, man. You know, and, and the elder, you know, basically post no scriptures. Instead of them coming back with scriptures, trying to refute what he said, they, they came back with their vain opinion. And that shows you how proud our people is. Even though our people, you know what I'm saying, our people don't want to admit when they wrong, man. They don't want to admit when they wrong and repent and come back to the most high. You know what they do? They'll sit there and they'll argue. They'll sit there and they'll go back and forth and, sit and, and basically they 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 did the same way that they did uh that you know <coughs> our people did to Peter and James, you know, basically saying that they unlearned. And those spirits are back today. You know, they'll they'll turn around and say, Oh, you know, you don't know nothing about the scriptures. You know, you unlearn. You know, and, and when you start posting scriptures and you, you post uh, concrete evidence according to the scriptures, 
and you're not posting your own opinion, they don't have a, they don't have an answer for it. And what they do, they 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 turn around, and they'll say, "Oh, you want to learn? You you this? Oh, and they and they attack they attack uh, the person teaching you. You see, they really I was just saying like this. They really are attacking the Most High, man, because they know that the Most High is not going to uh, tolerate that BS in the kingdom. You know, he's not going to tolerate the nonsense. And they, and a lot of them know that, but they, they get mad at the Most High, so they attack the, the true men of the Lord, the ones who are trying to keep the law, statute, command to the best of their ability. And, and you know, even Labusi, you know, he, he, he uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, he attacked, he, you know, he want to attack the Israelites, man, because, because he, he said, well, I can't be in a religion that, that, that can't eat pork. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, it, being an Israelite is not a religion, it's a nationality. You know, it's our nationality. It's, it's not a damn religion. You see, and that were, and that were our people would say, oh, it's a religion. No, it is not a religion. Being an Israelite is a nationality. You know, that was the most high called us. He called us Israelites. You know, you black, Latino, Native American, you're an Israelite. You are the true biblical Israelites that the Bible speaks of. You see, you know, our people are, are very, uh, our people are unlearned because they want to do what they want to do. They want to, uh, you know what I'm saying, they want to live their best life. They want to, uh, you know, they want to, you know, just basically be like the other nations. Because Hosea 4 and 6 goes into that my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. He said, because thou have rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee and forget thy children. And that, and that's sad. When you reject the Most High, he going to reject you. And you're going to forget about your children. And and that's a very, very sad thing that the Most High is going to forget about you and your children. You see? And, and you got to understand the fact of the matter that our people are proud as hell, man. Like I said before, I mean, in the book of Proverbs 16, 18, I know I said before, I'm going to say it again. You know, pride go before destruction and the heart of spirit before fall. You know, pride go before destruction in a way that this, that this guy is proud, man. The way that he is proud, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it leading right to his destruction. You're going to hear about some, some, some shit that's going to happen to him. And guess what? The most high take him off the planet. You know, if you've been true man, Lord, you're not going to share one tear because he disrespected our power, Yahweh, by Shem Shah. You see? And nobody's going to share a tear for him. And you're going to have a brother that's going to make lessons about it. If you're going through some sickness in his body that, that's incurable and the most high making him suffer, guess what? The brother's going to do, some, do a lesson about it. You know, and they're going to be mocking him because, uh, the scripture tell us to mock them they call division, the man. You know, and and also another scripture said that the most high gonna laugh at him in the time of his calamity. He's gonna be crying out to the most high, the most high gonna laugh at his dumb ass. You see? He gonna laugh at him. You know. He gonna laugh at him because because he mocked the most high, man. He he basically said, If the most high, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat what I wanna eat. And he, and he basically Bold enough said the most high contradicted himself, and that's what a lot of people do. A lot of plantation Christianity say, Oh, the most high contradicted himself. He said, Anything you can eat, you know, you just pray over and get thanks. You don't understand the scriptures. When you read Leviticus chapter 11, chapter goes into the dietary laws, and, and, and the laws already been set. Because if you have the power and spirit, y'all about to me how shy, you can dissect and understand that, you know, long it's clean. You know, according to the dietary law, we can sit down, we can eat. We pray over and give thanks as long as it's clean. If it's like crab, shrimp, lobster, pork, anything that's unclean, no, you you can't you can't pray over and make it clean. Cause scripture said, how can who can make a clean? Who can who can take a, a unclean thing and make it clean? You know, roughly paraphrasing, no one can. If most high deem unclean, guess what? It's unclean. Point point blank. Period. You see. And, and like I said before, our people are very proud, man. You know, our people are very proud, and, and they refuse to to fear the Most High because Proverbs 1 and 7 said that the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of, beginning of wisdom, or the beginning of knowledge, you know, roughly paraphrasing. 
Because when you figure y'all about Shema al Shah, that's the beginning of wisdom. You know, you start getting understanding when you fear the most high when you repent and turn back to the law of statute commands of Yah by Shem Al Shah. Most High can't do nothing with you when you very proud and you don't want to humble yourself and repent. Most High can't do can't do nothing with you. He can't use you to reach reach the uh a lift of Israel because you refuse to want to be humble, refuse to want to repent. So most high gonna have to destroy you. He he's gonna allow something to happen to you. Just like I said, Lil Boosie. You know, Lil Boosie already got his uh, consolation on his side. We already know he's not going to repent. You know, we, we know that he's not going to. Because he he got his money, he got his fame, he got his fortune. He's not going to eat stuff in the Most High. And, and those who follow him, Most High going to most high gonna destroy you, man. You know, he already made his choice. Get away, Most High calling you to repent. You know, calling you to come back to a law statue command so y'all about Shimmy Al Shah. You know. And that's this for a lesson. Just wanna do a quick lesson upon that. I wanna say all praise to the most high, Yah by Shimmy Al Shah, by Shim Rukakadash, that were understood the apostles, elders and prophets, and other respect to the bird teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe. See you again with another lesson real soon. Yah willing. Shalom. Baba Ball and Kwame Yasharala.